I need to help you help the fan community put some stuff to rest. All right, I'm your man. All right, what, what's this X Men Three script review that went out? It's right? nonsense. Okay, non -existent. Not script review, movie review. Sorry, it's a uh, it's a complete and utter fabrication. Um, it's it's absurd. First of all, knowing what was shot, there's it's completely made up. Um, you know, you could stop somebody here and they could make up something that would have more truth to it than that. But the movie just finished shooting, you know, three or four weeks ago. So there is no cut of the movie yet. So it's... Somebody made it up, and I guess that's the good and the bad of the Internet. People can say whatever they want to say. It doesn't happen to be the truth. All right. Obviously, you probably have seen Daily Horror. We can't talk about specifics. You're excited? I'm thrilled. I mean, I'm over the moon about it because... I think it's what we always hope for, which is, it is the most emotional. It's intense, I'll tell you, it's intense. I mean, it is a real, it's the intense climax of the journey of those characters through the first two movies to this. It's very emotional, um, and it's serious. There's a lot of fun to it, but it's very, it's way, way uh, more emotional, um, and in that regard, it's bigger, obviously, in terms of scope and effects. It's bigger than the first two combined. But it's bigger in terms of the importance of the idea. The cure story, which everybody knows that is accurate. That's one thing that's been reported, which is accurate, is a very relevant allegory for today. You know, if you could, if you could change who you were, would you? If you, if you could, you know, if you could change to fit in, would you? Um, if, if I could change a few things about myself, you know, if I could suddenly become handsome and good looking, would I? I don't know. Um, so it's, um, you know, we're really over the moon about it, obviously. How did Brett hold up? You know, I'm assuming, I'm assuming the pressure on a director like that must be intense. It is, but he did a great job. And that's one of the things, very experienced, and he's a very experienced big movie director. The other thing about Brett is, He's been in this circumstance before. I mean, he, when he did Hannibal, it was in the, you know, coming into a series, into a franchise. So he's he's very experienced in inhabiting a world and moving that world uh, forward. The other thing is the, the size and the enormity of it, just from a technical point of view, he's an experienced director. He's done a lot of big films. So he held up extremely well. But the interesting thing about Brett was, it was always for him about the emotion and about the performance and about the reality of the characters. So, I, you know, I, I look, it's, it, it, I'm, whether I like it or not, I'm going to stand in judgment on it, but I'm proud to do it because uh, the movie's got something to say. Vinnie Jones recently on some British TV show said, oh, X-Men 4, X-Men 5. You know, could we say yes, no? Is that true? We are, we are, we are going to see more in the X Men world. You'll see more. We'll see more in the X Men world. I mean, you know, we're developing a Wolverine movie right now. We're developing a Magneto picture. Um, the the the. What I will say is, um, I'm going to give an Alan Greenspan type answer, but it's the truth, which is, which I'm sure you'll parse endlessly. This this movie. Um, which I can tell you now the official title, if you'd like, you can break that story, is X-Men The Last Stand. Um, it is the conclusion of this trilogy. These three movies work as a trilogy. These characters in this relationship, it's the culmination of that saga. It, it's the culmination and the resolution of those relationships that have been laid out in the first two movies. That doesn't mean never, I would never say never again. But I will say that this brings that saga to an end. It's quite the way the last uh, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, brought those that trilogy to a conclusion in terms of those characters. That's what this movie does. It goes all the way back to the first one, and it rounds off and um, uh, completes that three-part story.
Hey, that's fair. That's fair. Now, looking beyond, besides X Men, can we talk a little about Fantastic Four? Yes. They're saying they're scouting. I talked to Michael Chiklis recently at the Shield event right. that was going on. He said he's quite excited. When do we hear some forward momentum? Well, we're, we're writing. So that that's the thing. You know, we're we're aiming for July of night of uh, 07, which seems like a long time, but in our world isn't. It's a short time. Um, it's not neither a short nor long, but it's not so far away as it sounds. Let's put it that way. Um, and we're working on the script now. Um, so, look, I make the same promise to the fans that we have on all of these, which is there's, there's only one answer. You have to have a great script. Um, uh, X-Men's as strong as it is because the script was great, right? And, you know, we're going to push hard to make the script for... Uh, FF be as good as it can possibly be. So, you know, my hope is that we'll start shooting sometime in the summer. Sometime in the summer. Okay, good. And then uh, no revelations today of who we can expect. Are we going to see Julian's character back? Are we seeing Dr. Jim come back? <laughs> I, I, you know, I've done pretty well. I've yeah, given you a lot of stuff. Lot. I've given well, you a lot you of know stuff. What? We'll, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. Now, Silver Surfer, any development on that end? Uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Soon. Stay closely posted. Okay. I was with Mike Richardson yesterday. We spent a little bit of time together. AVP2. Any any development there? Yeah, Hutch would know actually better. But, yeah, I think they just got the script. Um, they just got the script in. And um, that we're making that movie. It's going to be kick-ass. How soon? And it's going to be, well, again, we're hoping for uh, August of 2007 release. That's, you That's know, what we hope. You know, Tom, you've given me plenty to do. Right. Thank you so much. Right. Good, good, Thanks. good. Thanks, good. Thanks, sir.